everyone and welcome to Brush and Bubbles and another painting tutorial. Today we are going to be painting lemons. Ah, I absolutely love lemons and lemon trees and they're very summery and bright so I thought it'd be a nice thing for us to paint. Um, you can also go rogue with your colours and choose anything you like and if you don't want to do lemons you could do oranges or cherries or anything that you wish. But I'm just going to talk you through what you're going to need to create this painting at home. So to start with, you will need your canvas. I've got an eight by 10 canvas here, a palette to pop all of your paints on, a cup of water, kitchen towel, some paint brushes and some paints. I'm actually gonna be using this new um, paint kit that I've got that actually comes in our latest art kit and it comes with two different size brushes, a medium one and a small pointy one. And it's got loads of different shades. Do not worry if you haven't got this or you haven't got all of the shades, as long as you have the primary colours and white, you will be absolutely fine and will be able to do this painting. So without further ado, let's get started on our lemons. So I've got my paints in my palette and I am using the new paints, but don't worry if you haven't got all these different shades because you can make them and I'll be showing you how. But I've got white, primary yellow, cardamom yellow, blue, a light yellow green, a cardamom green, and then a sort of darker sort of moss shape green. If you haven't got all these different shades, you can actually just make the greens by mixing blue and yellow together, blue, yellow, and white. You can also add a little bit of black if you want to, it's totally up to you, but you can make a few different shades of green. And the same with the yellow, I've got like a normal sort of yellow, but if you wanted to make it a little bit more orange in shade, you can just add a tiny bit of red. So you've got options with your colours. So to start with, just decide what colour you want to do your background and we're just going to mix it up and cover the whole background with it. So I'm going to go for a really light blue shade and I'm just going to pick up my medium brush, dip it in my water and then I'm just going to mix up mostly white. So I'm going to move it over to a different dish and then I'm going to slowly add a little bit of blue and mix it up until I'm happy with the shade. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water to it to give it a good mix. And then I'm just going to cover the whole of the background of the canvas with this shade. And I'm going to do the tops and the sides as well. I've given my background two coats and now it's nice and dry. I'm just going to move on now to creating the lemons. So to start with, what we want to do is paint in all of the lemons that we want on our painting. And then afterwards, we'll then go in and add in the leaves and the vines. So to start with, I'm just going to use my smaller detail brush. And we just want to mix up a really light pale yellow. So for this, I'm just gonna have white as my base and then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of yellow to it. And the reason we do this is we want to have the background of our lemon really thick and opaque and white paint just helps us create that. And then what we can do is we can start building up the colors and the shades of our lemons on top of this really pastel shade. So just mix yourself up a nice lemon pastel yellow shade and then what we're going to do is just go on to our canvas and start drawing in some lemon shapes so i have no idea how else to describe these shapes other than lemons but i'm going to show you how to do it now and i would start maybe with your main one in the middle or like you know not coming off the sides so you can get a sense of how it feels with the shape and then you can start adding them going off the side so i'm just going to start with my first one and you can always start smaller than you think because you can easily make them bigger if you wish. So I'm just gonna start drawing in the sort of shape that I want for my lemon. And then we can add a few more details afterwards. So that's a sort of lemon shape. And then what I would do is just fill it all in and then we'll add some more shape to it. So I want to make mine slightly bigger, but also I want to start adding a little bit more detail. So at the top and the bottom, 
sort of comes down a little bit and then it sort of goes out a little bit fatter around the edges and then it comes back in before doing the same on the top section so if you can see what I mean it goes around a little bit bigger and then it sort of like comes out a little bit like that at the end so you can just start getting those shapes in and what we want to do is we want a couple of layers of this white sort of whiter shade of paint this yellow shade because we then want to build up over it and we don't want to see any of our background color coming through it so i can still see some blue coming through so i'm just going to keep letting it dry as i go and painting on and making sure it's nice and thick so I've got my first lemon shape there and what I'm now going to do is just start adding a few more to my canvas. So you can do exactly the same and what we want to do is have some of them coming off the canvas as well. So you might just want to start bringing them down from the top, drawing them in, having them come off the top or the side or the bottom and then just remember to paint along this top section as well just so it follows around the canvas but just start filling yours in now you might want three four five depending how big you're doing them just get them all in there fill them in and then we'll go in adding some more color and shade Now that we have the main shapes of our lemons on our canvas, we're now going to start with the fun bit because we're just going to start adding different layers of different shades and colours to our lemons. And the best thing about this is you can be really free and abstract with your brush strokes. And all we're going to do is just start picking up some of the pure yellow. You can mix it in with a bit of white, but we just want a slightly brighter shade. And if you want to, you can also pick up some of this other yellow. And if you haven't got a sort of orangey shade, you can mix that up now using white, red and yellow. And you should get a nice sort of orange shade. But we're just going to start doing a little dance between all of these colours and the colour that we had originally. So if you run out of that, I would just mix up a light shade as well. So what's quite nice is not over mixing your paint because when you come to streak it on it's quite nice to see a few different tones and streaks in there and what we're going to start doing is just building up our lemons so i would start with any of the lemons that are behind some of the other ones so this one is in front and these two are behind so i'll start with those two first just so that i can overlap the bigger one with it and we want to keep with the main shape of the lemon so as you can see I'm sort of curving my brush strokes around with the curve of the lemon and then down the middle I'll be more straight with my brush strokes and if you just start picking up these different paint colors and just dusting them in there again not overly blending them being really free with how you're using your brush The lovely thing about painting these lemons is you can just carry on and on just building up the colors and the texture your brush until you're happy with how they look you can even wait for them to dry a little bit and then go back in and add a few more layers just to make sure they're really bright and thick and opaque and you can't see through them so i would just have fun with this take your time gradually build them up until you're happy with how they're looking and then what we'll do is we'll just go in and add a bit of highlight with some white paint. So once you're happy with how your lemons are looking, all we're going to do is I'm just going to brush off my uh, paintbrush on my kitchen towel. I'm not going to wash it, but I'm just going to pick up some more white paint. And what we can now start to do is adding sort of flecks of highlight to our lemons. So I'm just going to be really thick with my paint and I might focus these maybe towards 
the ends because this is where you might get a little bit of sun reflection or shine. We don't want to overdo it and I wouldn't overthink it. I think it's one of those things that you have to just go for. But for this one, for example, I've got a darker sort of swoop on this side. So that's going to be more of the shadow. And then I'm going to place the highlight with the white paint on this curve. And then if you want to, you can do exactly the same thing with the yellow or orange. So just brush off the paint off your brush and then pick up some pure yellow. And again, you can add swoops to the other side where you haven't got the reflection with the white paint. Once you're happy with how your lemons are looking, we're just going to wash our little brush and we're going to leave it to dry. We want it to dry nicely before we go on to our leaves. So I would either dry it with a hairdryer or leave it for about 15 minutes so it dries nicely because we've used quite thick paint. Now that the lemons are nice and dry, we're going to move on to doing the leaves. So for this, you still just want to use your little brush. And like I mentioned at the start, I've got a couple of different greens here, but if you haven't, you can mix them up yourself. If you haven't got any green, you can make green by mixing blue and yellow together. You can also mix blue, yellow and white. If you want to and you have got green, you can darken it up by adding blue, a tiny bit of black. So you can just have a play around with your shades. What I'm going to be doing is just doing a little dance like we did with the yellow shades between these different colours and I might even add some white to them just to lighten them up slightly but we just want to start with a sort of lighter shade so I'm adding white as my base just like we did with the lemons and we want to just start drawing in where we want our leaves and the sort of vines of the leaves to go so lots of these overlap the lemons themselves and so what you can start doing is just a sort of long leaf-like shape. So this is where the sort of stalk would be. So I'm going to focus my leaf and I'm just pushing down the bristles of the brush. And it's sort of like a very elongated shape that comes into a bit more of a peak at the very end. So you can just start getting your leaf-like shapes onto the lemons and they will overlap. Some of them might actually stick up a little bit into the sky. We can add a few extra. We're just going to start very slowly building the leaves up using this lighter shade of green. So the one that you've mixed in with the white. And then we'll go back in and add other green shades on top. What we can now start to do is just add a couple of sort of vines coming through. So you might have them coming out of the top of one of the lemons and then going behind some of the other leaves. We just want to create a little bit more detail to some of these lemons. So I'm just going to start doing that now just by dragging the brush up, sort of hiding them maybe behind one of the lemons. Some of them can go in front, but just to give a sense that these are all linked somehow. Once you're happy with that, we're now just going to do the same thing as we did with our lemons and do a little dance between the different shades of green. So this is your chance now to mix up a few different shades if you need to. And we're just going to go in and start adding a few different highlights and tones and texture and uh, shadow to these vines. So I'm just going to focus mine maybe on the underneath side again I'm just using sort of dashes and I want to be quite abstract and free with my brush strokes you can always go back in and pick up some of the shades that you had originally and overlap it but just start building up those different green shades to your leaves and your vines and then you can go back in and add a tiny little bit of highlight and reflection to some of your leaves. Once you have finished adding in all of the details that you like, you have finished your lemon grove painting.